So if you're anything like me, just a normal person with a normal job in this economy that can't afford anything these days except your bare necessities, then you've slacked on paying some of your bills. And that's okay. This is a no judgment zone because I haven't paid all my bills either. And I'm really slacking, especially on my credit card bills. And I'm going to keep it real. I don't give a shit about what I bought last year or six months ago or when I swiped the credit card. I don't care. Thanks for letting me have that stuff. I don't have the money to pay you back right now. So I used to be really religious with this. Like I would send a set amount of money each month and just auto pay the credit card so it would keep my balance down, you know, so that I didn't fall behind. Well, about seven months ago, I took it off auto pay. And for about six months religiously now, like every day, multiple times a day, they're calling to get their money. We all got a job to do. And I know that you're tired of dialing my number and I'm not picking up the phone. (laughs) So I accidentally answered one of their calls in the car the other day. Um, My car hooks to my phone. So if you hit a button on the steering wheel, then it automatically answers. And it was Teresa from, you know, Credit One or Capital, one of those that I that I have. And she goes, hi, this is Teresa, and I'm calling for Brandy and from the, the credit card service. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to answer this phone call. Like, I'm really sorry about that. I don't have your money. Like, I, that's why I don't answer the phone or the emails that you sent me. And she, this, she goes, well, we're like two steps away from sending you to collections, and that's really going to affect your credit. Teresa, do you not know that also not paying your credit card bill plummets your credit? You might as well take my credit score out back and put it out of its misery, Teresa. Do you also realize that right now my credit score means absolute fuck all nothing to me? Like, do I look like I'm buying a house? Do I look like I'm buying a car? Does it look like I can afford to buy anything ever again? Teresa, I'm going to save us both the time here. Just send it to collections now because between now and next month when you keep trying to call me, nothing's going to change. Nothing. So sorry about that, but thanks for all the stuff I bought on the credit card. I don't know what to tell you, and it's going to sit in collections too. I really, like, food, house payment, car payment, insurance, medicine, clothes, bare necessities. That's all I got the money for right now. Everything else, I could care less. If you want to throw, I've been in collections my whole life, Teresa. Set it to collections. And she, she just hung up on me. I don't... I don't I don't think she had a pleasant time talking to me, and that's okay. That, that's fine. Lord have mercy on us. Every time I go to the grocery store, so my heart beat faster as I get closer to the cash register. Why? Because I'm afraid of how much it will cost me. I swear to God. Look here, man. You know, are you tired of working your tail off just to have enough money to barely afford food, rent, gas for your car, and pretty much nothing else? Sometimes, does it feel like you are only one paycheck away from being homeless? I swear to God, this cannot be real. And it's not even like you are not working hard at all, or you are lazy, because you have two jobs. You wake up every day, Monday to Friday, at 5 in the morning, right? Then, you have to rush so that you can beat traffic and make it to work by 7. Later on, you get up from work at 4 in the afternoon. And just like in the morning, you have to rush to get to your second job. Simply because your normal job doesn't pay you enough. So you get off your second job at 7 or at 8 p.m. when it's already dark outside. So basically you left your house when it was still dark. And then you get back to your house when it's already dark. And between all that, you have to put up with the boss that you hate or with co-workers that you cannot stand at all. And you are supposed to do that until you reach what? 62? Maybe 65? And then, at age 71 or 72, you are already dead or you are close to it. Isn't that sad? Like, when do you have even enough time to enjoy life? I'm tired of working, man. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of going to these jobs. It's not even about my particular job. It's not about any job I've had. I'm just tired of the whole job system. I'm tired of this understanding or this belief that we have to go to work five to six to seven days a week to barely afford to eat. I mean, who made these rules? Why do we do these things? Who made it to where someone told us, yeah, 40 hours a week or more, you're going to make this amount 
and you're going to work this difficult to you about what, I don't know, 65, and then you're going to retire and maybe barely have enough to actually survive. And then guess what? In about two or three years, you're going to die or you're going to die before you even hit 65. I digress. I don't know about you all, but I'm tired. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get a little emotional. <laughs> sometimes you got to make yourself laugh in the pain. I'm tired, bro. I don't know about you, but I'm tired, man. Yeah, and at this point, it's just like, dog, it, it's not even about looking for another job. I'm tired of looking for jobs. I don't even want to put in a job application. I'm tired of Indeed. I'm tired of ZipRecruiter. I'm tired of people scamming you. Oh, we got this job for you, but it's really not a job. It's some job in Malaysia <laughs> or Asia or somewhere overseas. You don't even, know, you don't even speak the language. It's, it's, man, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Some people will say, oh, man, that means you're lazy. <laughs> I don't give up. That makes me lazy. Oh, well. Oh, well. Lord have mercy on us. And I can guarantee you that the lady that we watched from the first video did not buy anything fancy. I don't think that she went on the lavish vacation somewhere exotic. And I'm damn sure that she used her credit card to buy groceries, gas, and to pay for car insurance, medicine, and some clothes. Like nothing fancy at all. The only problem is, well, actually there are two problems. Number one, she doesn't make enough money, which is not her fault. And number two, everything has become so much more expensive. Now, I think that we can all relate to the lady we're about to watch. It's the 5th of September and I'm literally out of money for the month. I paid my bills, AKA I paid my rent, which leaves me every single month with $600 left over. Next, my car payment. That takes another good chunk. Don't forget car insurance. Oh, also don't forget, I went to the doctor one time. $100 finally got posted today. My electric bill. Electric bills have been going up like crazy. Like my bill used to be $45, it was $93. And then that isn't even me doing food. And if you know anything about food prices lately, frozen vegetables cost upwards of $1.50 to $2 a bag. Chicken, two chicken breasts the other day cost me $8. So yeah, it's the fifth of the month. I literally have basically no money left for the month and I'm not sure what to do um, the rest of September. So if you're in the same boat, please comment down below because I'm genuinely curious. Are we all in our 20s basically broke and have no idea how we're supposed to ever save for a house or have money left over in general every month. I can't be so, the yo, only one. At this point, I promise y'all, I'm about to start eating out. $47.28, all vegetables. This is not even meat. Not even meat. I'm damned if I eat vegetables. I'm damned if I eat meat. The struggle is real. Woo! All right, bye. Now, true story of mine. It's a personal story. Every time I go to the grocery store, my heart beats faster as I get closer to the cash register. Why? Because I'm afraid of how much it will cost me. I swear to God. Do you really know what pissed me off? It's when I heard that New York City was giving $53 million in prepaid credit card to migrant families. The mayor's office said that the program will help migrant families buy food and baby supplies. And that's not all, people. So hear me out. A family of four will be offered nearly $1,000 monthly, resulting in $35 per day for food. Card welfare will be facilitated after 28 days, which simply means after 28 days, they will get another $1,000. Now, after the wildfire that happened in Hawaii last year, guess how much money each family received from the federal government? $700. A single and one-time payment of only $700. Don't believe me? This is FEMA website. That's sad. While in New York, illegal immigrants are getting $1,000 every month. How does that make sense? There is money for everyone else, but there is no money for Americans. That's sad.